you also you need to be more aware of what chord is being played at what time. And even if you don't know what the chords are, you can't identify them by ear, at least try to identify uh, the emotion of each chord, which chords are more tense, diminished chords, dominant seventh chords, versus which are more relaxed, the one chord, the four chord, sometimes the six chord, things like this. And I also want you to listen to the Malmsteen solo, I Am a Viking, okay, off of Marching Out. Listen to that main solo. And I want you to figure out what all the chords are first. Okay? So transcribe the tune, get all the chords, and understand how each one of those chords fits into the key. Okay, so write it down. This is the one chord, this is the five chord, this is the six chord, you know, that whole thing. Alright? Do that first, then go back and listen to the solo, what he plays, over each one of those chords. And you will find that every time that there's a diminished chord or the five chord, he always plays with more power, more articulation, more energy. There's way more fire all over those, uh, all over those pitches, all of those chords. When he plays over the four chord, that same sense of fire isn't there. It's much more laid back. Even when he's playing fast sometimes over the four chord, it's not the same level of energy and aggression. I mean, Ingve is one of the most underrated players, I think, in the entire history of guitar. Because the things that common guitar players give him credit for aren't the things that <coughs> really make Ingve great. It's all of these other things which most people don't really, either they take for granted or they don't realize at all, which makes Ingve so much further superior than what the general technique might show. sort of diminish things over the one chord. Because you're adding something that's very tense with a lot of tension over a chord that's generally more relaxed. Save it for the tense chords, the diminished chords, the five chords, the dominant chords. It'll make the note choices that you're using much more appropriate for that particular section of the song. Does that make sense? <laughs> 